Hey, what's going on, movie lovers all over the world? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Testify to the Music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21 bringing you another movie review. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the film Bad Moms. So let's party it up like a mother and jump straight into the review. I'm going to try to do everything by myself today, which should be fine, as long as everybody does what they are supposed to do, right? Oh, no. got four minutes to get Roscoe to the vet, so I love you kids. Get out, get out. Oh, oh my God! Emergency PTA meeting today at 5 o'clock. Will we see you there? I'll totally get a sitter on a Tuesday night. Yes, you can. No problem. You actually can. We all work too damn hard trying to make our kids' lives amazing and magical. Their lives already are amazing and magical. Be bad moms. Oh, I'm in. To bad moms! All right. So again, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this movie review. I know I am so late to the gate on this film. This film came out back in July, but I had a lot of things going on in the summertime. There were so many movie releases that I just absolutely did not get a chance to check it out at the time. And today I just had a movie day where I just sat down and watched two films, one of which is Sully. But yeah, Bad Moms. So in case you have not seen this film like me and you're still on the fence about it, pretty much what this is is you have Mila Kunis' character. Uh, she's a married woman with two children. Uh, Jane, who's played by Una Lawrence, a uh, fantastic performance from her. And Dylan, who is played by MJ Anthony. Um, and he is essentially one of the main co-stars in the Krampus film that came out this past Christmas. Uh, and it was directed by Michael Doherty, uh, the guy who also did Trick or Treat. I think MJ Anthony did a fantastic job in there as the, the title role. And he also did a fantastic job here as well. But you have Kunis' character who's playing this overworked and overcommitted mom. And essentially she's a sales rep for a hip coffee company. And so essentially one day everything literally goes wrong everything i mean anything you can think of goes wrong and she just loses it at the pta meeting she says i'm done i'm tired this is so stupid and she's over it and she just you know says i'm done i'm out and she walks out drops the mic heads to the bar where she essentially meets up with katherine hahn who was an absolute standout in this film and a little backstory to katherine hahn the first movie i remember actually seeing her in uh which essentially she was playing somewhat of the same character here she's playing a sexually active single mom and essentially i saw her in this movie called i think it was called good deeds or something like that um but it was about this car salesman um and it also had i believe a dane cook in it uh i could be wrong about that um but uh, she was essentially playing in that movie and that was my first really introduction into her I had seen her in other things before but nothing really stood out to me and, and in that film she's essentially playing the same character where she's a sexually active person and she is really trying to get her some and so she you have Carla again played by Katherine Hahn and then eventually we get introduced to our next co-star which is uh, Kiki played by Kristen Bell and she's a stay at home mother of four and she said you know she essentially admires her for what she did for standing up to Gwendolyn um, who is the head of the PTA and she's played by Christina Applegate's character so what ends up happening is at some point Amy decides to run for the head of the PTA and challenge Gwendolyn, again played by Christina Applegate, and challenge her cronies and all of her rules that she set up and just ch challenges her hierarchy and says that she thinks she can get it better. And again, she just stops caring so much and stops overworking herself. Now, with all that being said, some of the standouts here in the film for me of course, would be Kunis, Han, and Bell. They all did a fantastic job here. The chemistry off of these ladies. My gosh, the ooze dripping off of this chemistry. It was just fantastic all around. And I got to say, I actually did kind of like the, the also character interactions between Applegate, uh, Jada Pickett Smith's character, and Annie Momolo's character. I felt they all had great chemistry as well. And you could just tell it was just one faction against another faction. You have the faction of the seemingly perfect bombs versus the overworked and overly stressed and overly committed bombs. 
and it just really came to a head in this film. Now, comedy wise, I laughed out loud several times in here, and again, I am personally not a mom, of course, and I'm not a dad either, but I can uh, attest and understand how overworked mothers can be. So you get a real good sense of that from this film. And so again, the comedy here is on par. If you have that bit of a raunchy comedy, uh, you're gonna definitely love this. Uh, there's nothing really overly gross or too overly sexual in this movie. Uh, again, it's a hard rated R and it earns its rated R, but mainly because of strong language. But again, the comedy here was on point. I laughed out loud several times. Everybody seemed to be bringing their A game in this film. And I gotta say, again, congrats to, to Mila Kunis for her starring role in this. She did a fantastic job carrying this film and being one of the main leads in this film. And again, I bought her and Han and Belle as these overly worked and overly stressed moms who essentially just want to care a little bit less. But still, at the end of the day, you can tell that all three of them still care about their children. You can tell that's where their heart is. And essentially, that's a physical representation for my mom, personally. Because I know my mom, when I was growing up, she was overly worked and overly tired. Especially raising me. You know, I wasn't the easiest child to deal with growing up. Especially if you know who I am, you can understand why. And so... When I was watching this, I said, oh, I could see bits of my own mom in this and how she overly works herself. So with all the praise that I'm giving this film, you probably think there really is no negative to say about this. And you're kind of right. I don't really have too many negatives about this. The only little negatives I had here, there were bits of dialogue here and there that I thought were a little bit of hit or miss. Some of the jokes fell a little bit flat. Um, and again, I was in there with a small audience, um, and you know how you have that awkward feeling where you think something is really funny, but everybody else in the theater is quiet. Yeah, I had a couple of moments in this film, but again, acting-wise, everything was up to par here. Everything was up to par. Now, again, the ending felt a little forced, and I kind of felt like, okay, I kind of see where this is going a little bit. The ending, to me... While I like the ending, I kind of was just like, eh, do you really think that's, a, that's how it would play out in a real life scenario? But again, sometimes with these movies, you have to take the real life out of these films. And another thing that I like that I think you should recommend staying for is after the credits, they actually had a clips of all of the actors with their moms, especially the, the six main women and they were just essentially talking with their moms and getting their perspective of who they are and it was just really nice seeing the moms on screen just essentially being themselves and being free now as far as a score goes i'm gonna give this movie a solid four out of five it's a great film i highly recommend it it's funny again it almost pretty much landed as a perfect film but the ending for me was a little standoffish. And there again, there were a few jokes that were hit and miss. But again, with most comedies, you're going to have some hit and misses in there. But I got to say, this is definitely a film that's a diamond in the rut. I, more people should be definitely seeing this film. And it has definitely made its money back. It's already grossed over a $100 million domestically. Which I am so happy to hear that because this film deserves it. It outrightly deserves it. But guys, that is my review for Bad Moms. What did you think of the film? I know most of you have seen this by now. So if you have, let me know what you thought of the film. And let's keep this non-spoilerish. I know the film has been out for months now. But still, let's keep this non-spoilerish in the comment section below. But let me know what you think of the movie. And if you haven't seen it yet, will you go check it out this weekend? Again, I believe this is going to be the last weekend it's in theaters. So definitely go check it out either today or go check it out on Sunday. I highly recommend you checking it out. It's a great film, especially if you're a single overly worked mom and you just kind of want to have one of those girls nights out with your friends or whatever this is a film that you could definitely go see and check out but with that being said guys thank you again so much for checking out this review please if you like the review make sure you smash the like button it helps out the channel immensely you guys already know i'm testifying to the music aka mikey savage 21 and i'm saying peace out